Hi Esther, what motivated you to uh, go to sea? I really like the feeling of being out at sea. Mm. And uh, my grandpa told me, if you like it, then pursue this as a career. What about you? I had a, an uncle who was a uh, Commodore in the Navy. He used to come and visit us every once in a while and I loved the way he had all his braids and his, you know, sore. So okay. when I finished my college, I told my dad, I said, I want to pursue a career at sea. And there was no looking back after that. Back in the day, we had nothing. Okay. So uh, every time you wanted to heave a rope or you wanted to slack a rope, yeah. you got to be there on the spot and do it. So you have to uh, run for like forward to aft? To right okay. on, yep. Yeah. We had to run from forward to aft. Wow, okay. Right. Fortunately, the ships were not so big okay. as they are these days, yeah. you know, but nevertheless, we still had to run up and down uh, trying to tend to the moorings. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Your first voyage, you said, was uh, to where? My first voyage was actually going to mainly a few ports in China and like three ports in Korea, including mm -hmm. after that Indonesia as well, and back to Singapore. On it, I actually did quite a bit of steering mm -hmm. after settling in about two months. So it really helped you that you spent time here on the steering at Waveney? It actually built my confidence without this um, simulation wavelength. I would be able to stand in front of the steering panel on my first ship and attempting to steer. Yeah, you, you're very fortunate. You had these facilities here, simulators and autopilots and steering, etc. Back in the day, we had nothing. All we okay. had was a magnetic compass and a steering compass. And you stood there, you stood there from departure one port to arrival another port because we had no autopilot. Wow. It was so a long sea how, voyage? Yes. Oh, we had okay. to steer from A to B. But okay. There was nothing called an autopilot. Since you like sailing so much, why did you come ashore? Well, I thought uh, 45 years was a long time. It's about time that I hung up my sea boots, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, I didn't want to throw away all this knowledge that I've acquired. The next best thing would be that I should impart this knowledge to the youngsters. So I thought Wavelink would be a good time for me to get into. You actually taught us really well. You wanted us to understand every step of the celestial navigation. Mm -hmm. I remember some of the toughest but you managed to actually explain them clearly to us. That's good. That's, that's where our satisfaction